friends and welcome to our springtime story time. I'm so glad you can join me. I like to say a special hello to some of my friends watching at home. Hello to Anna and Thomas and Owen and Olivia. Hi everyone. I hope you're having fun watching from home. Let's sing our hello song together. Here we go. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. It's time to say hello and let's get started with today's story time. In today's story time, we're going to read a book called Time for a Hug. Do you know how to tell time? That's something you can practice. Here's my clock. This clock has numbers on it. You can start telling time just by looking at the clock and learning your numbers. Like one, two, three. Very good. When I look at a clock, I know what time it is by seeing where the hands are on the clock. Not this kind of hand, this kind of hand, the ones you find on a clock. This clock says one o'clock. That reminds me of a little poem. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Zoom. Hickory dickory dock. Do you know what time you wake up in the morning? Do you wake up at seven in the morning? You wake up at five in the morning? Oh, that's much too early. You can take a little morning nap if you wake up at five in the morning. What time do you have lunch? At 12 o'clock? That's a good time to have lunch. What time do you go to bed? You go to bed at eight o'clock? Very good. You can get a good night's sleep. What is a good time for a hug? Right now? I think right now is a perfect time for a hug. You can give a hug to someone sitting close to you. Miss Kristen is going to send a hug to you right now. Are you ready? Catch it! <clears throat> Did you catch that hug? We'll be reading It's Time for a Hug coming up very soon. It's time for a story. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. We're going to read Time for a Hug by David Walker. And when we're done, I'll meet you for a fun craft that Miss Jody put together for us. I hope you have fun. See you then. Time for a Hug by Phyllis Gershader and Mim Green. Wake up, wake up, the day is new. The clock says eight, what shall we do? Wash our faces, comb our hair. Choose the clothes we like to wear. Eat from a bowl, drink from a mug. What time is it? Time for a hug. A hug feels good. Let's hug again. We'll hug at nine. We'll hug at ten. Eleven, twelve, the raindrops fly. What shall we do? Let's bake a pie. Let's make puppets out of socks. Build a city out of blocks. Read a book, snuggle on the rug. What time is it? Time for a hug. You'll hug me and I'll hug you. We'll hug until the sun shines through. The clock says one, the sky is blue. Two o'clock, three o'clock, what shall we do? Bounce a ball, ride a bike, Climb a tree, go on a hike, smell a flower, chase a bug. What time is it? 
time for a hug. Four, five, six, it's getting late. Soon it'll be seven, eight. The moon comes out, the stars shine too. The clock says eight. What shall we do? Bathe, brush, floss, say good night. Hop off to bed, turn out the light. Pull up the covers, warm and snug. What time is it? Time for a hug. A big bear hug and a little hug too. Every hug says, I love you. The end. Hi and welcome to Craft Time. If you have your bag from the Canberra County Library, look inside for the craft that looks like this. We're going to make a bunny clock craft today to go along with the story we read at the, in the preschool class. So first, you have to get out your big piece of paper that had your bunny on it. And use your scissors to cut out the bunny. When you're done cutting out your bunny, you can dump out all the pieces that go with it. We'll need the clock and all the little bits that go along with it. So the first thing we'll do is line up the holes on the hour hands of the clock and punch our tab through it. And that tab can go right through the clock. There we go. Now we also want to glue on the bunny's eyes and the bunny's nose and the bunny's mouth. Let's see if we can get some glue to come out today. There's an eye and an eye and a nose. So find all your pieces. Here's a button nose and two googly eyes. And now all you need to do is glue the clock onto his belly. When you're done, you can color this in any way you want. You can give it a mouth and some whiskers and you can color the ears in pink. And you have a cute bunny clock that you can use to tell time. You can try this craft at home with the supplies from the Camber County Library, or you can use some paper to make your own bunny clock, just in time for spring. Thanks for watching. What a fun class. It's time to say goodbye with our bubbles. Here are my bubbles. Are you ready to sing goodbye with me? Catch one if you can. Goodbye, bubbles, goodbye, bubbles, time to go, time to go. I will help you, I will help you with a blow, with a blow. Find the bubble and blow it goodbye. Goodbye, bubbles. That's a lot of bubbles. And goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time.